Hi there. So here we've got a pressure, a volume and a flow loop. And let's talk our way through that so we can understand what these loops actually mean. Are they loops or are they curves? Whatever. Who cares? They're pressure, volume, flow, curves, stroke loops. And we need to work our way through them to understand what they mean. So what happens initially? The patient triggers a breath. So the machine on the volume loop then delivers the amount of volume. So in this example, it's 500 mils. So you can see the line goes straight up to 500 mils. And as the machine delivers this volume, so the pressure curve will then go up as well, as you can see on point three here, that the pressure curve is also going up at the same time. The pressure goes up as the volume is delivered into the patient's lungs. The flow of air into the patient's lungs via the ventilator, let's say, for example, is 60 liters per minute. So when the breath is initiated, the flow curve goes straight up. And then as the gas is going in and it's achieved its 60 litres a minute in order to make that do so, it will stay at 60 litres per minute. So it plateaus off, as you can see here. And that plateauing stays there until then there's the trigger for that breath to stop. And in our example with volume controlled ventilation, the breath will stop when the machine has delivered the volume that we've set. That's the trigger for the breath to stop. So as soon as that volume has been delivered, the ventilator then terminates that breath. The flow moves in the opposite direction. The pressure then drops, as you can see on the curve, and the volume into the patient's lungs then also falls. So that accounts for the pressure, volume, flow curves you can see here.